This incident went viral all the way back in 2021, where a convenience store security camera picked up a gross incident of police misconduct as we see Wilmington, Delaware officer Samuel Waters approach and grab this man unprovoked before slamming his head multiple times into the plexiglass case at the cash register. <laughs> before continuing the beating off camera. However, newly surfaced body cam footage from Officer Waters shows what happened immediately after this act of violence. Look at my face, bro. You just smashed my face into the glass for nothing. Then you just great slammed me down. Look what you just did, man. And all I'm asking you is what is going on? Why are you arresting me? Right. I told you. I no, was detaining you. You, you just need to turn around. No, you didn't you want didn't to listen. Tell me anything. You're, you didn't even read my rights or okay. nothing. You didn't tell me what was going on. You just straight started assaulting okay. me, dude. Look at my Stop. Face. Stop. Look at my face, man. Waters' attitude and dismissive tone of voice is only escalating this interaction further as he obviously feels his aggression and violence towards the man was justified just because the man didn't immediately submit to his authority without question. You're fing going down, dude. You just assaulted me for no reason. Okay. You just assaulted me for no reason, dude. I want to have a conversation with you, and nah, you got squirrel. You you wasn't you trying to conversate nothing, dude. You was trying to f assault me. Okay. And if you think the officer's acting out of line so far... From the door. Well, so maybe next time I say, put your hands in the... Well, you're right listen. In the air. Instead of being a... My hands in the air. My hands were in the air. Now you just All right. assault me. This guy just f assaulted me, man. I like to speak to some superiors. <laughs> You just assaulted me. It's all on camera in there, dude. I see another set of hands in the car. Come on. Let's go. Why are you trying to twist and, twist Come and break on. my wrist? Yeah, probably, because he's one of those fall down suit, you motherfucker. Who is it? Hmm? Who is it? No idea. He don't want to tell me his name. My fingerprint scanner is not working. This is what to say when the cops say, give me your ID. Repeat after me. Am I required to show my ID, officer? What if I don't feel comfortable? Know this, you aren't required to show your ID unless you're arrested, ticketed, or driving. You can actually sue the police if they arrest you for merely refusing to show your ID. It's been done. But as with all these tips, always use your judgment. I tried to have a conversation with him and he broke bad and we ended up fighting. Oh, really? Yeah, so he's angry, got his head slammed into a wall, but... Just figured I'd get some extra hands in case he decides to do something dumb. Even after warning the medical team that his body cam is on multiple times, they all feel comfortable enough talking trash on the man while Waters completely misrepresents the sitch, which we're speculating was done so Waters could have a legal argument if needed later down the line, and as it turns out, was something he actually did need. As coverage from CBS Philly reported that just a month after this arrest occurred, Waters was sued by the man, accusing Waters of violating his civil rights, while also so alleging he used a racial slur during the arrest, being placed on desk duty while the internal investigation took place, with CNN reporting months later that Waters was indicted on a total of eight counts, including two felonies from this incident and another that occurred earlier in the same month. Waters was either fired or resigned from the force in January of 2022. Waters was facing charges ranging from tampering with public records and second-degree perjury, both felonies, to misdemeanor assault and official misconduct charges. A.G. Kathy Jennings would say of both incidents that there is a clear and disturbing pattern of violence and deception surrounding Officer Waters' abuse of authority and power as a police officer. Even though we're approaching two years removed from both incidents, Waters was indicted on. He was just recently convicted with felony tampering public records, falsifying business records, assault, and official misconduct from the arrest we previously saw. Waters had a history of failing to turn on his body cam while also lying in his official report about the incident. And an often overlooked aspect of how the police cover up their misconduct and illegal actions to bury incidents like this. Waters will be sentenced later this year as he faces up to eight years in prison just for these charges alone, and we will keep y'all updated as the case transpires. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.